It's afternoon on the American River Parkway. Hello, Rangers, anybody in the tent? Sacramento Regional Park Ranger Michael Matsui is on patrol. I see littering within 150 feet of the high water mark, which will be the levee. When this whole area floods, all that trash is going into the water. The risk associated with the job has gone up in recent years. We've been getting a lot of complaints about littering here, campfires, um, and uh, just kind of environmental things. With that in mind, rangers no longer work alone. Rangers, anybody in the tent? No one here. Tent's clear. With more people living on the parkway, the job is now a balance between environmental protection and law enforcement. Of course, another caution is all the weapons that can be in the campment. Um, you see that a lot. Oh yeah, that's why I was also letting the ranger know, hey, there's a big jackhammer right there. Um, you know, hey, there's a sledgehammer. Hey, there's a knife on the floor. But Matsui says while patrolling the parkway, he has also built Elijah, relationships you, with people. How you doing, man? Like Elijah Gilbert. And just so you know, man, you can't be digging steps into the ground, okay? You're eroding the natural environment. You know these things, so just help us out, okay? Gilbert has been living on the parkway for a while. He worries about losing the possessions he has by going into a shelter. My clothes, my, uh, I spent a lot, I spent all my money uh, buying those things, so my belongings mean a lot to me. Yeah, absolutely. How long have you been staying? Uh, about five years. Five years, that's a long time. He'd like to go back to work, but with unstable housing and a criminal record, wanting to go back isn't quite enough. I, I used to have a nice house and, and I used to have a, I used to work two jobs and to maintain it. Once you're stuck in this rut, either if you got a helping hand, you know, from family or so like that, then then you might be able to get yourself out of it pretty quick or, uh, and if you don't, then um, it's, it's a tough run. Well, we're just gonna be trotting through. Others we spoke to say overall, they feel forgotten. What do you think is just like the biggest misconception that people have about, about you guys living out here? Uh, that we're criminals. Yeah, really like, I mean, we're just trying to get by. It's almost like society separates, you know, homelessness from, you know, uh, blue collar society. So, you yeah, know, so just don't become homeless. They say they need more people with resources coming around more regularly and a reliable phone. Do you have a phone that works? Uh, no, but I can get you one. Okay. Um, give me a ring, give me a text and then I can send you updated information. Here you go. After serving in the Marines, Matsui knew he needed to find another way to keep yeah. helping others. They don't see the side that we see. They don't see the handshakes we give out. They don't see the smiles we get back. They don't see the thank yous. Um, there's a lot of people we have helped in the parkway. He's aware how behavioral and mental health obstacles can complicate the situation for everyone factor in drug use and it's complicated even further. And I think if we attack it in that way and see how we can help the person versus beat them down, then we can get somewhere. For Gilbert, moving off the parkway still feels like it's some time away. It looks like it's gotten a little better because I remember coming through here back in the day, I had to climb over stuff. Looks like I could probably walk through now. But he's hopeful while staying aware of his circumstances. Anybody thinks they might be in the position of uh, getting close to being out here, do whatever you gotta do to, to try to keep from being out here because the uh, streets will get the best of you, you know? In Sacramento, Leon Denyer, KCRA 3 News.